Jamel Hill said that everyone who votes for Donald Trump for president is a racist. Ironically enough, Jamel Hill's own mom voted for Donald Trump for president. You can't even make up this irony. But the biggest issue out here is that ESPN is paying Jamel Hill millions of dollars for a hagiographic documentary that's going to star Colin Kaepernick. ESPN, I had the OutKick crew reach out to ESPN to ask if ESPN agreed if there were, uh, uh, if all Donald Trump voters were racist, ESPN said no comment. Let me repeat that. Jamel Hill said all Donald Trump voters were racist. We reached out at OutKick, my writers did, to ESPN to ask if ESPN believes that all Donald Trump voters are racist. And ESPN said, no comment. ESPN has basically let it be known that everybody out there who has any kind of moderate political leanings, if you are anything other than a far left-wing loon, you are not in any way respected by ESPN. We saw this last week with Adrian Wojnarowski. We saw it with their embrace of woke center-related politics. ESPN is a far left-wing organization. They are MS ESPN. All right? And the fact that they won't even deny the fact that Donald Trump voters are all racist, which is what Jamel Hill said, is an unbelievable confirmation that if you are anything other than a far left-wing loony loser, ESPN has no interest whatsoever in your business. NFL training camps. Uh, are, and by the way, let me just say this about Jamel Hill. It's not a surprise that statements like that play well on Twitter because it's racist, right? Let's just be straightforward and call it what it is. If you are branding half of the country racist, whether they're white, black, Asian, Hispanic, who are voting for Donald Trump, you are painting with such a racist brush that it's unacceptable, right? And here's the bigger issue. If anybody who works at ESPN said that if you vote for Joe Biden, you're racist, or if you vote for AOC, you're racist, or if you vote for any Democratic politician, you are racist, they would immediately get fired. They would no longer be able to work at ESPN. But if you attack the half the country that voted for Donald Trump and say that they are racist, that is actually uh, acceptable at ESPN. And I don't have, a, let me just make this clear. I've said this for years. I wrote it in my book. I don't have any problem with everybody having political opinions. What I have a problem is content-based discrimination where some people are allowed to say, far left-wingers, exactly what they think every day. And everybody else out there has to bite their tongue because if they say what they really think, if you're part of the 75% of the community at least, maybe 80% that is not woke, you aren't allowed to actually say what you believe and keep your job. Whereas the far woke, the left wing community is able to say whatever they all want. That is content-based discrimination. That is not an even-handed treatment of all opinions by Disney and by ESPN, and I think that's wrong. I think the standard should be everybody can say whatever they want, right? Everybody can say whatever they want on their social media accounts and let the public decide whether or not that is a smart move from a business perspective. I don't tell my employees what they can and can't say on their Twitter accounts. I don't tell them that they can't have left-wing opinions. I don't tell them they can't have right-wing opinions. I tell them to go out and have smart opinions. Be able to defend whatever you say. And as a result, that's why we're kicking ass at OutKick because we're trying to treat everybody equally and because we're not trying to pick sides. We're trying to be straight down the middle every single day.